So contour lines on maps can be an excellent way of gaining visual insight into changes in measurements with respect to geography, to a physical geographical location. So contour lines can be a shift in a spot fire by using data functions, and I'm going to show you the steps for this to happen. If you go to our typical community exchange site, you, map contour plot is one of the data functions that you can download. So if you click on that option under the releases tab, this contour plot that zip file is going to give you everything you need to start with. As soon as you unzip that folder, you will find three different files, contour plot DXP and the actual data function that SFD. This contour plot is actually a template that has all the instructions on how to use data functions, how to bring your data into this template if you need to, and it's showing you a working example with a contour plot showing up on this map. So you can use this template as reference, but you can also use the actual data function within your own data. So if we go to a data table that has longitude and latitude, what you want to do here is bring that data function so you can visualize this data with a contour map on top. So we're going to insert a data function that is coming from the file that we just downloaded and has that SFD file. As soon as I open that, Spotfire is going to ask me, how do you want to connect the inputs from that script with the data that you have loaded in your own Spotfire analysis? So my X column is going to be my longitude, my Y column is going to be my latitude, and my C value, in this case, is going to be one of the columns where I have data from. This can be any data. It can be completions, it can be geology, it can be your own data. So I'm just going to call it A1. So I'm going to use A1 to start with. Now, notice that we have another input here, a smooth scale. So if you go back to the DXP that you downloaded as reference, we can see that we have a smoothing level here and that goes from 0 0.1 all the way to 1. So I'm just going to start with 1, 0 0.5, play it safe, and see what that does in my own analysis. So in this specific scale, my smoothie scale is going to be a value, and it's going to be a 0 0.5 to start with. Now, in addition to this, my output is going to be a data table. So I just want to be sure that I actually point this to a data table that is going to be named contour lines. We want this data function to refresh automatically for every time that we do a change. Now, in addition to that, let's notice how from the reference file, nothing shows up on the map if I click outside any of the markers. So what's going on here is that that contour plot is showing up only with the markers. So wherever I mark something in the map, that is generating the contour plot. To keep this functionality on my own data set, I would need to tell the data function to work with the marker rows only. So whenever I mark something on my physical latitude and longitude location, that data function is going to adjust and it's going to give me my contour. Now how, now, how do we know this is working? We're going to bring the map chart that has already my latitude and my longitude location. We need to add to this map the contour table that we just created. So that contour table is a new table that is called contour lines. And we can just simply go ahead and add the geometry here as a future layer. So you can see that every time that we select or mark something on the map, the data function is working and is giving me those lines as a result. If we want these lines to be more colorful and look nicer, go to properties and in the property, go to layers, select the future layer that is the one that is giving us those lines and change the colors to adjust accordingly based on what you want to show. 
So in this specific case, I'm just going to add some points here and change these colors so they look a little nicer. I can even go to appearance and uh, change the line uh, width so I can see it easier or better on the map. I can even do the same with the marker layer so we can decrease the size of those markers a little bit so we can see the contours better. And we can even go ahead and change the colors of the markers and uh, make them consistent with the contour lines. So now we have a better looking contour map. Now in addition to this, we can explore one of the websites that we have in the community of TIPCO. That is this uh, geoanalytics resources. And we can use any of the links that are being provided here as a TMS layer. So choose one and just select it, copy it, and we're going to paste it on our own map. So just go to properties, layers, we're going to add a TMS layer, and we just need to paste here that URL that we just copied. So we can try different backgrounds and see which one looks better, but this is just a starting point. So you can just uh, play with a new selection, create a new contour plot. Now, if you want to create, for example, a property control, for you to be able to select within different widths, different columns, different measurements, we can add a text area. And I'm just going to edit the text area and add we can do a list box. This list box is going to have different columns, so let's uh, give a name, select, to this um, variable. We're going to initialize it. And we're going to define latitude and longitude are not part of that, but A1, A2 are different columns that are rep representing different measurements. So to ensure this is working with the um, data function, we can just go ahead and go to the data function properties edit the parameters and be sure that my C value is now coming from an expression. So that expression, instead of calling my A1 column, is going to use my property and is going to insert the value coming from that one column that you have in that table. That way, we can select from different options and see how all those uh, points are changing because I'm using a different, completely different column on that contour plot analysis. So I hope that uh, this has been useful and is walking you step by step on how to add your own contour map into your own set of